What are your plans for this St. Patrick's Day? Is it the parade, the pub? Are you hopping on a plane? News Talk's Sarah Madden discovers why escaping Paddy's Day may now be the most popular way to spend it. Whether you call it Patty's, Paddy's or St. Patrick's Day, there's no denying that March 17th is part of our national calendar. But with one in four Irish people saying they don't actually like the holiday, can you really escape the Paddy's Day festivities? And why would you want to anyway? I'm getting away. I'm going to Belfast. Yeah. My friend Michael, I'm going to Belfast. Woo. Town's a nightmare. Town's kind of horrible. It's very, like, chaotic. Too many Americans. I have, sorry, too many. Way too many. Far too many. Yeah, I think to a certain degree. It's that kind of, like, hyper level of Irishness that's more, nearly more Americanized than anything. So, yeah, we are not going to be here. We're actually in London for a christening over Paddy's Day weekend. Paddy's Day, is it your favourite day of the year? No, not at all, because <laughs> I'm a big ginger, so I tend to get people pulling my hair. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit traumatising. When I was younger, I liked it a lot more, because I was able to participate in the parades, and it was more exciting as a kid, but I'm an adult now, and I don't drink or anything like that, so I suppose that's 90% of Paddy's Day is drinking, 99% of Paddy's Day is drinking, so yeah, I could probably take it or leave it. Well, no, I won't be in the city centre, I'd be avoiding the city centre at all costs. Yeah. Uh, it's full of pukey teenagers, <laughs> that would be the main reason. And then, I don't know, everyone just gets very, very drunk. But there's not enough venues in Dublin to stay out late and do things. So everyone just kind of goes onto the street and gets drunk and pisses everywhere and gets loud and rowdy. So, no, it's not fun. I think I'm going to go away. If I stay in Dublin, I'm not going to go out. It's just not worth it. Like, I just saw so many awful fights last year. So many bouncers just not acting the way they should be. And it just was horrible. Mm. You don't feel safe on mad nights in town, especially because everything closes at the same time. So there's no staggered of people leaving. Everyone's on the street, no taxis, barely any guards. Yeah, I just think it's just not nice, Mm. to be honest. No vibes. I won't be in Dublin because I'm going skiing for my boyfriend's birthday. I suppose the chaos and like day drinking, it's the same story every time. I'm not from Dublin, so I've just never done Paddy's Day in Dublin and I kind of don't plan to. <laughs> Too many people. Yeah, I just have a agoraphobia, or whatever that's called. And uh, yeah, hate the crowds. So it's a lot of f- right. Yeah, avoid it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. A lot of beeping shy. I mean, damn it. St. Patrick's Day is the starting gun for the Irish tourist season, with 200,000 visitors expected to arrive for the festivities. But according to Owen Carey, editor of Travel Extra, as many Irish people will be travelling abroad, and for good financial reason too. St. Patrick's Day is our holiday. It means that other countries don't have the same break that we have. gives us huge advantages travelling abroad. It means we can pick up bargains, uh, better prices than we would at any other time of the year. To the extent that some resorts around Europe have identified the Irish market and have special offers to try and attract Irish people. It's interesting that if you're going to ski, Austria has embraced St. Patrick's Day. Some of the resorts turn the mountains green and they have special St. Patrick's Day festivities. Gran Canaria, Lanzarote, they're the Irish favourites. Both are very significant and both have St. Patrick's Day events, festivals, anything to liven up a resort and put the emphasis on Irish people. If Guinness on the Beach still sounds too Paddy's Day adjacent for you, don't feel bad, because according to Owen, the holiday's namesake would be looking for an escape too. St. Patrick himself was quite an estate. He wouldn't really have been participating in a parade. He'd probably uh, have gone up a mountain to say a few prayers for himself. We have 28 cabins, we have 74 acres. But people come here to relax, to get away from it all. Mm. Um, This is exactly the opposite of Dublin. Caboo is a log cabin experience on Loch Uchter in County Cavan. 90% of their customers come from the island of Ireland. And manager Shane Kelly says staycations are incredibly popular this weekend. I think Caboo allows people to escape, enjoy the simpler things enjoy themselves, the company of their friends, family. So from that point of view, be it Paddy's weekend where people want to get away from that, that loud hustle and bustle, those fireworks from a dog point of view. This is where they come to retreat. They'll come here to relax, to get away from that, let's call it a bit of madness. There is no noise of traffic. There's no ambulances, there's no guards, there's no light pollution. Dogs don't like fireworks, it's proven. So basically they'll get out of it. 
With waiting lists for a weekend like this one, Shane reckons he could easily fill 15 plus more Kaboo cabins. But if you can't get away, at home or abroad, this Paddy's Day, you can always take this Dubliner's viral advice and stay close to home instead. You going into the parade tomorrow? I wouldn't be. I, you know what? I'll stay in the back garden with me dog. I think it's the greatest load of pumps and wumps. All the Americans are over here. Oh my God, I love this. I love Ireland. They doing my b-